Hello and welcome to a brand new Let's Play by Feels Like 2AM. I am Sias, and let us play for the Commodore Amiga, the Prince of Persia. But first, backstory time. Um, movie voice. Yeah. In the Sultan's absence, the Grand Vizier Jafar rules with an iron fist of tyranny. Only one obstacle remains between Jafar and the throne, the Sultan's beautiful daughter. Marry Jafar, or die within the hour. All the princesses' hopes now rest with the brave young th she loves. Little does she know that he's already a prisoner within Jafar's dungeons. Spooky. Right, um, Prince of Persia. Alright, so, um, I've not played this game for bloody ages. So, I probably will suck or at this. So... That's probably going to half the entertainment value for you right there, so... Ah, here to get this train wrecker rolling. Whee! Still got it. Now, I played this game a lot when I was a lot younger, and... I remember some of it, but really, it has been so long, I am bound to make so many mistakes. And I'm really trying not to, uh... Let's put it this way, whatever happens in the next hour, as you have one hour to complete this game, if your time is up, Jafar does come and kill the princess. I don't really know if it's actually, uh, is it Farah or Farah off of the uh, new games, Prince of Persia games? Anyway, so she's curtains if she, uh, if time runs out, and, um... Yeah, so whatever happens is going to happen. Probably expect a bit of the old swearing because I'm not exactly the uh, most patient person in the world to begin with. And let's begin with picking up this almighty sword. The guy we saw at the very start, uh, if you don't have the sword, you cannot kill that guy. So, um, yeah. <coughs> You need the sword, he might be a really simple bad guy, but one hit, if you haven't got your sword drawn, and it's enough to kill you no matter how much health you've got. So, there we go. Now I'm playing the Commodore Amiga version here. Um, I have played the Mega Drive games, um, or Mega Drive, a game of it, which I believe actually has um, more levels. Um, than this version, but this was the one that I was brought up on, so this is the one we're bloody going to play. Jeez, you kids. <sighs> so, let me guess, I still press spacebar to get your time? Yeah, all right, all right not bad. All right, combat. Combat in this is relatively... It seems simple, but it might not necessarily be so. Um, you either parry, the attacks away from you, or you strike. And it's all about timing. Hey! Oh, I guess not. Right, alright. Mission 1 down. Well, mission 1. Excelsior! Level 2 abounds. Do, 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 do. 
All right, level two. Let's get this show on the road again. Nice. Okay. Ooh. There we go, nice and easy. I guarantee that won't last. Health potion. You also get different potions on this. Um, from what I recall, the red ones are health. Uh, anything with black bubbling out the top of it is um, is poison. Uh, can we do this? Yes, all right. Yes, anything uh, in black, poisonous. Don't drink it. No good. Um, and then there's yellow ones, I believe, and they're kind of the mystic, crazy ones. There you go, a bit more entertaining. And he died on the switch too, which means his corpse is going to keep it up forever, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can't recall. Hmm. Somewhere in the level, there is a... Very uh, useful extra health potion. There we go. So the one on the right is a health potion. The one on the left is well, that was quite smart. Is a poison potion. Don't drink the bloody poison. Hmm. And the way that the uh, ooh, is it here? There we go. Oh, crowdy. It's about to say the. Uh, uh, that's not really what I was after. Neither is that. <laughs> well, eh, better than nothing. Yeah, these uh, these big potions tend to be hidden, so. Alley up. With the uh, the later. Bad guys, you gotta preempt you you gotta strike parry, pa strike parry, strike parry, strike parry. It's not too bad. Ah, there we go, this looks familiar. Uh and there are some surprisingly difficult fights. There we go, there's the big one. So we've gotta get up there. Spikes, if you run into spikes or drop onto spikes, as you should imagine, you get impaled. And it is most Unfortunate for the poor old prince. Now what I thought I would do is that because these levels are relatively quiet, I mean nice sound effects and everything, but it's a quiet game as a whole. What I was going to do Uh oh, five minutes down. Um yeah, so what I was going to do is actually play some music that I rather like, but it's all, um, well, it comes from a website, is it K-Word? K, yeah, K-Word. And, um, basically it's uh, C64, um, remix scene music. So basically all of the, uh, the music's on there, um, Basically, is as it's seen music. Um, people want it to be out there and listened to, and they don't make any money off of it. So, and there's some really outstanding uh, stuff on there. So, that's um, how I might do this next level. Slap on some music to fill in the empty dead air. There we go. Level two done. Excelsior. Hmm. That's not going to get old before long, is it? Level 3! Good old level 3. I remember level 3 because it's nothing but traps. And there's, don't think there's a single enemy on this. Or... There's no living enemies from what I remember. Anyway, so, let's start with the music. I might uh, add what the actual music is on there. Uh, 
on the side, little notes, or maybe I'll post little bits of pieces on YouTube. Depends how I feel. Okay. So, this way actually isn't the way to... Whoa. Whoa, easy boy. To go to actually complete this level, but it is the way to go... Oh, wait, maybe it is. There we go. It is the way to go for a... In extra! Right! <laughs> oh yeah! How oh, I'd forgotten about you kids. I'm sure you can run through these, but... I'm not well known for good luck, so I'm not going to push it. Go. See these uh may slow down your entire progress through the game, but in some tough fights you went off help well grateful for it. Alright. This is where I fall and perish to my death on this next bit, so if you die on this game, you just um, you restart the level, but the time has uh, not reset. Okay, hang on, jump around here, I know it. Whoa. <laughs> I am surprised I remember that. Okay. No, she was a cheat if I remember. You used to have to hold down the caps lock and I think you press L. If you did that, then um Oh yeah, it jumped up to like level, you know, two, three, and four. But for giggles, it only gave you 15 minutes then to complete the rest of the game, which is an impossibility. So, all right, switch to the end of the level. What are we doing for time? 52 minutes, huh? See, that might not seem too bad, but oh, the time just disappeared. If, I, if either, I'm kind of amazed that I've uh, not died yet, he says. Yeah. And then the skeleton! They scared the hell out of me as a kid. And as you may have noticed, he doesn't actually have a health bar. They send him to his death, and I this might be really bad because he might be just waiting to strike us when we get down there. We'll see. This might be fun. Yes. Is he back? Yeah, we're in trouble if we don't. Is uh, it hold down the left? I'll have to try something desperate now because I've seen to book this up. All right. What we'll do is we'll go down the left and pray that he'll grab onto the ledge as he falls. No. No, he didn't. <laughs> Ooh. The game's being nice to me. Okay. Oh, well, I'm sure that was a nice voice a few minutes. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> yeah, if you don't actually get your sword out, he would just smack me and with those extra two hit points up to five. Ooh, that would have just been curtains. Great, ten minutes down already.
Yoink. Okay, down you go, pal. Now, this time, just gotta remember not to... Just drop straight down, mate. There we go. There you go, see, if you're a second too late, you're not gonna make it. Uh, how do you get rid of the skeleton? Hey, there you go. Like with any immortal bad guy, the best way is to win trap them. Yay! Let's go to level four, shall we? Not that there's a clashing music at all, but still. I'm glad she's laughing it up. God. Try again. Hey. Hey. Um, yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit hazy at this point. Do we go that way? There's a door there, but there's a guy to kill down here or something. Ah. Come on, no. Bad guard. No, bad guard. Ooh, nasty. We uh, don't think we want to land on that one. Um, oh, right. Maybe. Maybe not. Ooh. It's always a bit of a 50-50 uh, a thing where if it's going to work. With a bit of luck, this will go on the plank. plank. Yeah, on the plank. On the ledge. I don't know where the plank came from. Ooh, easy boy. There we go. No, don't tease me. Whatever they got to do, we shall find no peace. We shall fight on the landing ground. We shall fight in the field. Maybe this way. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Maybe. My memory has not held up at all. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Jesus. Thanks. No, I was trying to get around the other side of him, but I just do not have the skill to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Funny as it is seeing them getting sliced in two. The prospect of having to do this all over again does not thrill me with filled me with joy. I think we're gonna go right. Obvious trap is obvious. So I'm actually quite a big player of the uh, the Prince of Persia games, the old and the new ones. The uh, the one that came out was it the Santa Time, the one on the PlayStation Two. It was an amazing game. It really was very very good. Uh, I will skip that. And 
then I went and played the Warrior Within, and that was okay. I wasn't too fond of the old fighting mechanics. And then the Two Thrones came out, and I quite enjoyed the conclusion. It was uh, it was good. And then they brought out you know the uh, the new prince, and everyone hated it. And even I sort of hated it. You know, I just did not have time to play that nonsense. And. Um, Yeah, I was, you know, and then there's, they've redone the old prints in uh, retro, well, a time you didn't see in. Diddle in <gasps> evil mirror! It's evil! How'd you get past the evil mirror? You've got to jump through it and make an evil doppelganger. I'm sure there won't be any repercussions to this action. Uh, right, pause the music. And up we go, I think I'm going to call it there for this video. So thank you very much for watching, and be sure to check out the next bit.